Feed kids and keep them busy. Food is the real mother's helper. This summer, I'm here with Marguerite Henderson and her two darling twin granddaughters, Lillian and Gianna, right? Did yes. I get that right? Yes. You guys are cute helpers in the kitchen ready to steal the show, and you're putting them to work, Marguerite. Oh, they, they work at my house all the time. <laughs> That's why they come over. They're like, what can we cook today? That's so, what they do. They get to cook in Grandma's kitchen. What do yeah. they call you? Is it Grandma? Mimi. Mimi, of yeah, course. Yeah, Mimi. Of course. So, all right, anyway. so on the menu today, Artichoke, which surprised me. I'm assuming these two cute girlies have really sophisticated palates, because I don't know many kids that would appreciate artichoke. <laughs> they, they, they eat everything. So if you put it in front of them, they'll eat it. So um, let's talk artichoke. So it's artichoke season, May, June, sort of. And um, you could get these whole fresh artichokes right now. I'm going to mention Trader Joe's, four for two ninety eight or something. Oh, wow. Really cheap, right? Yeah. So, um... Also at Trader Joe's, we have artichoke hearts, if you don't want to mess with whole ones, that have come frozen. And they are, this is what they're using. Uh -huh. And you defrost them and you put them in paper towels. Okay. And this is what they look like, right? Okay. Okay. So we're cooking fried artichokes over here. Uh huh. Okay, and they're putting them in flour, eggs, and then seasoned breadcrumbs. Now, you when you dry them, you put them in a bag of flour if you want, or you could do them in a bowl. Okay. Just to get a good Just coating. Just to get a coating. So it's always flour, eggs, breadcrumbs, right? Okay. So when we get a few done... You guys are like a factory down there. Oh, You're yeah, just they cranking are, they them out. Like an assembly line. Assembly line. Yeah, they know how to do this. So <laughs> they entertain and we, we had a little tea party at my house yesterday with their friends. So oh, how fun! And they helped do the food. So you guys have the coolest Mimi around or what? At least she feeds you really, really good. Every time you're over, I know, right? Yeah, I know. They're three blocks away from me. So. Oh, how fun. So anyway, so then you you cook them up in a little bit of canola or vegetable oil. Okay, right? you cook up quickly? Yeah, about a minute, really, per side. So you're just browning them because they're already cooked through, right? Uh -huh. So uh -huh. basically, you're taking them and then flipping them over when they brown. And that's what you get. And they're, they're quite um, delicious. And then we are going to dip them in a lemon herb aioli, which ooh, we made ooh, earlier. Ooh. Will you and, guys even spring for the lemon herb aioli? And, yes, you'll eat whatever's put in front of you? Yes. Best eater award <laughs> right there, number one and number two. Yay. OK, anyway, so that that's the fried artichoke. OK. okay? Then we also made a grilled artichoke. Now, if you're having. Let's say a little dinner party for eight people. You mm -hmm. really only need to give them one half of an artichoke. Okay. That's that's like fifty cents a serving. Okay. With the and you're serving it with the same um, artichoke uh, dip. The aioli. And the aioli. how impressive! I mean, it just makes for a beautiful. Oh, plate. I know. So you cut off the base. Uh huh. Cut off the tops. Okay. A little tough. So, yeah, a little tough. You got to have a little sharp knife. And then you take your kitchen spe uh, shears and then you just cut off the real pointy tips because they are sharp. They are. Um, they will cut your finger and oh. leave a nice little splinter. Right? Sam is nodding. She's affirming what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. I, I hope you haven't experienced that. Okay. Oh, so okay. then, <laughs> so then you take the artichoke after you've done that all around. You yep. cut it in half. Now, I should have put lemon in that water because then we have acidulated water. And after you've cut all your artichokes, which, like I said, you really need a sharp knife. But Yes, yes. All right, you take the artichoke, and then what you have in there is the choke, that little purple part. Uh huh. And you can leave that in there and take it out afterwards, or you could just, you know. Because we don't want to eat that. No, and that's all you have to do is just take it out after just you. It pops pop right it. out. So then you have these two halves. Uh huh. Boil them for 30 minutes. Okay. Okay. You could do them a day ahead. Uh -huh. The next day, brush them with olive oil, throw them on your grill, and you get these fabulous um, artichoke halves. Delish. Okay. So then. Now, what was the water bath for? So the water bath is while you, you're doing all the um, artichokes, uh -huh. right? You don't want them to turn brown. Oh, gotcha. So, okay. so you put a lemon in there. Gotcha. Okay. Or a lime or an orange, Just something acid. Okay. 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 So then you show them how you. Yeah. How do we eat these girls? <laughs> the best part. This is why they're actually here. <laughs> they're like, I thought you'd never ask. Okay. So you take take the. Um... Yeah. Teach us. Yeah. And then you. Dip, dip, little dip, and then you don't, you power. don't, you don't uh, <laughs> like bite. You just scrape with your teeth, like with your teeth, little scrape. You're pulling out the meat there, right? Mm -hmm. I liked the dip and devour headline. Yeah. That was a good little but marketing it, line. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Copyright Lillian Collins. <laughs> Too bad they have zero personality, Marguerite. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> they're no fun at all. I joke. They're darling. This is so fun. We have so much fun with them in the kitchen today. And I think it's a great example. Oh, okay. A fancy dish like artichoke, fancy, even allows you to get the kids engaged and involved in the kitchen. You do that all the time. And I put, you know, put a half of an artichoke on their plates, and it is gone. And I think kids, if you don't... Ad if you don't in, uh, introduce them to foods that yeah. might be a little foreign, right. they're never going to try it on their own. Right. So you have to take them to restaurants. Like we were just in D.C. We ate Ethiopian res at a restaurant. And they ate with their hands. And right. they ate food that they have never eaten before. So... Um, I mean, they might not like it the first time, but at least they've been introduced to it. Well, I think I read in a parenting magazine you need to introduce foods up to seven or eight times before a child really can form an opinion about right. them. Right. So like cucumbers are weird. Like, uh -huh, you know, uh -huh. um, and there's some, you know, tomatoes. A lot of kids don't like tomatoes. Okay, all but, right. Any anyway. tips about, really quickly, we're out of time, but finding a good artichoke at the grocery section? Well, you know, they come four to a package at Trader Joe's, so just buy that. And they make sure that the... Um, the globe is tight. Okay. okay. And if it's spread out, it's an old artichoke. Okay. Okay. Make sure the globe is tight. And if you're buying them individually and not too big, because otherwise they're too tough. This was fun. This is going to be on my menu this weekend. Fun to meet your girlies. Thanks, Thanks. you guys for coming. Mm -hmm. They're busy eating as they should be. We appreciate okay. it. Thank we will you. post this tutorial on our website, studio5.ksl.com if you want to check it out.